welcome to this video tutorial. Um, today I want to share some exciting news within the Hackintosh community. Um, as you may already know, since the introduction of macOS Sonoma, we have lost support to our native Wi-Fi adapters that have worked in every macOS since forever it seems. And uh, with the help of the brilliant minds behind the open core uh, legacy parcher, we have got another chance to use our old Wi-Fi adapters in Sonoma. Um, so first things first, um, in order to utilize OpenCore Legacy Patcher, we have to change some things in our config p list as well as some kexts. Um, and the kexts have to be added to our EFIOC folder in order to get our Wi-Fi adapter working again. Um, bear in mind, um, this only works um, on the following uh, Wi-Fi chips, Broadcom, Broadcom chips. These are the this is the list of the chips. I personal I personally use this one. Um, so let's open our EFI and see what has to be done and what what has to be changed. Um, so mount our EFI and open our config plist. Right. Um, first of all, uh, we have to disable system integrity protection which is, or SIP. Um, we can do that by going to nvram and uh, changing the CSR active config to instead of using all zeros, all eight zeros, change it to zero three zero eight zero 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 zero. Um, after doing that, we have to restart our machine and um, reset our nvram. Um, after that, when a computer is restarted, we have to add some, some other things as well. Um, first of all, we have to add this boot argument, amfi equals 0x80. Um, then we have to um, set our secure boot model to disabled which is found in miscellaneous security, secure boot model, which is disabled. Um, then what we need to do is to add several kext in order our Wi-Fi to work. The kext used are these following kexts. It's this one and this one. I will leave the links, link, link to the text in the video description below. And also, I have downloaded the, the latest nightly build of OpenCore Patcher, which we're going to use after um, we finish our, with our config period. Um, so, basically, what you do is just to grab those two texts and uh, go to your EFI text folder and just drop those two clicks there. Um, just bear in mind that this family legacy text contains another text within it. So um, bear in mind that it's, it's properly written. Um, I can show you that text. It's in plugins and this one airport BRMC. Make sure it's when you use um, um, proper tree you do when you do OC snapshot make, make sure in the kernel add you have all three texts uh, properly injected we need to add another entry as shown here in the block section um, so we have to um, block this text and make sure in the strategy 
it does say exclude and very important it's that in all of these um, added texts you you set minimum kernel to 23.0.0 so these patches only applies to Sonoma only and does not affect anything with Ventura or all the OS's so uh, when everything's done uh, what you have to do you just restart your machine um, after that you will see that your Wi-Fi icon will start looking for uh, for the um, uh, Wi-Fi signals but it won't find any Wi-Fi and that's where uh, open core legacy patcher comes in uh, so the only th the only step that left left to do is to to literally just if you download the legacy patcher open core patcher just drop it in applications folder um, run it and what you have to run is post and install, install root patch it will ask you for a password just enter the password reboot a machine and your Wi-Fi will work well hopefully it will work but yeah it will work and as you can see if I show my um, hacking tool and peripherals you can see that my Wi-Fi is properly working so hopefully this helps and hopefully this is clear instructions how to do 